coach, it seemed like for almost three quarters you did everything you wanted, and then a little bit got a little away from you. Before. Yeah, we turned it over too many times in the late in the game, and had a chance there at the end. Is trying to get a timeout with about 30 seconds left. We had the ball and couldn't get a timeout, and ended up fumbling it away. And um, but ultimately, I mean, a lot of credit to Center Point. I mean, they hit some big threes. Um, some of their role players hit big shots for them. Um, and they were 17 and 19 from the free throw line, you know, and they, they did a really good job of, of putting us away when they had the opportunity. What were they doing defensively that was making it tough on you guys in that second half? I mean, we're, we played them earlier in the year. We knew defensively it was going to be really difficult. I mean, for us offensively, we knew it was going to be a battle. And, uh, you know, they matched up with Abby well and, and made all of her shots tough and had a hand in Britt's face all the time. And, you know, we, we were able to clear some things out and get Kenzie rolling to the rim a few times and, you know, make a few other things happen. We just just kind of ran out of options at some point. And, uh, you know, I mean, and we were running offense and we were taking our time. and. Um, and we got some looks that we just didn't finish as well, you know, and that really probably a bigger picture was, you know, if we finish some of those. Um, and that's kind of what it comes down to when you're here is yeah. getting a break here or there and getting a few tough shots to fall. It seemed eerily similar to the first matchup. You know, you guys are up eight at the half and you're uh, back in December, you're up eight at the half in this matchup. What's the message in the locker room this time around at half? I mean, I, I, we were way better in the second half today than we were that time. Um, you know, we just, like I said, it's a, it's a tough um, physical game, and, and we, we got to take care of it a little bit better um, and finish some shots, you know, around the rim, and we weren't able to do those things. I don't, you know, our kids don't have anything to hang their head about. We gave it a great battle, and, you know, I, I guess – Biggest thing is they had a few shots go in that we didn't, and I think if the ball bounces a different direction a couple times, we're the team that's, you know, super excited and getting a chance to play on Thursday. What was, so what was the play in those last two plays in overtime that you guys couldn't yeah. couldn't get the bucket? Um, we ran a high ball screen and we're gonna flare Abby for a three. They did a good job of, of cheating over the top of it and getting to it. Um, and then uh, you know we Kenzie made a great play ripping it, going to the rim, you know and got fouled and her I mean if yeah. that shot goes in and she makes the free throw all of a sudden we're tied yeah um, so a great play on her part we had time to still foul and force something and sure. you know just couldn't make it happen but uh, ultimately they did a really good job defensively of yeah. taking away our first couple options on those two sets and that's yeah. a credit to them no it didn't go the way you wanted but, but what does it mean to you and the players and the school to make it to state not, not only this year but, but two years in a row is that big for you guys I mean it's a good accomplishment just because it's something we've never done before yeah, back to back um, you know our, our our goal was you know we wanted to come here and stay for a while we wanted to win a game give ourselves a chance and sure so certainly disappointed in that um, but it's it's a great season and it's a great accomplishment it's just hard to appreciate that right now yeah thank you coach thank you Reed.